Act, there's a new community going up in Vacaville that hopes to help protect the Earth. It's a master planned community, which means a space created for wellness, safety, and its ecological benefits. But this community has a particular focus. Take a look. This is the future home of Lagoon Valley. It sits on Vacaville soil near Fairfield, right off of I-80. It's the first conservation community in the state with a goal of leaving open space to protect the land. People will be able to interact with the environment, the natural environment, uh, much more so than in typical uh, communities. So we're creating a place that's pretty special, so we want people uh, to treat it that way. Soon this site will transform into a walkable community of housing, recreation, jobs, all with green building standards. 85% of the plan is dedicated to that open space and parks and recreation, which Johansson says will take the weight off of nonprofits that strive to protect it. There, there's only so much money to go around to permanently protect um, important land. And when you are uh, included in a community design and planning, that creates, in, in our case, 1,300 acres of protected lands. That takes a lot of pressure off having to go find open space and um, raise the capital to forever protect it in other places. So let's explain some of the benefits of being in this community. First, they've made some steps to fighting climate change. So that's solar power. There's less driving because everything's right there centralized. And there's also the option to use reclaimed water. But those are just scratching the surface. There's truly a plan for everything. The goal right now is to build 200 homes per year over the next five years. So that's 1,000 homeowners in total. Model homes should be built in about a year and then the first occupants will move in next summer. But well, this is such a big thing for saving our environment because, you know, everybody doing their small part will make a big impact over the globe. Yeah, that's Lagoon Valley. Rob and I are having this ongoing discussion about your story. I'm sure you can hear it about <laughs> how they're going to do this and fit it in. And there's vernal pools and environmental concerns. I went soaring there once. It's a beautiful place. It really is. Yeah. There's much more about it. There's a link on my Facebook page right now, Bria Love TV, if you want to check out more. We'll do it. Uh, Rob and I are all over this right now. All right. Thank you, Bria. Good story.